So I understand the grass is greener on the other side because uh, they're doing grass-fed cheeses. Tell me about it. What's your name? I'm Pamela Hamill and I'm the proud brand ambassador for Thornlow Cheese and we're here today at the Grocery Innovation Show 2017 and we're launching three brand new SKUs. And you're way up north where? Uh, yes, the grass is greener on the other side and we're way up north about 600 kilometers directly north of Toronto where the grass is fresh, the, gra the grass is greener and uh, yeah, I have a tagline I like to say that we're from the land of lakes, rocks, trees and cheese. Wow. Okay, tell me about it. Why did you come up with that idea to go into that business? Sure. So farming's always been popular, dairy farming, since around 1940. Uh, my grandmother, actually, I'm privileged to have a grandmother that uh, was one of the original suppliers for Thornlow Cheese, uh, which is a small cheese company in the Temiskaming region, Temiskaming Valley, is part of the Canadian Shield, and it's actually a glacier basin um, that has resulted in a beautiful agricultural region. So, Tell me about this picture here. What's this sure, about? Sure. This is part of that landscape, that rugged landscape in northeastern Ontario. This is Lake Temiskaming, and this is Devil's Rock. Many people uh, across Canada are familiar with our Devil's Rock blue cheese. It's a, a black pyramid shaped like the iconic uh, tourist destination as it is. And, uh, it's a 25% cream blue cheese. It's delicious with uh, your favorite jelly or just on toast. <laughs> and now you're doing grass-fed cheese. Absolutely. It was important for us uh, as a company as well for the farmers in the region to be looking to the future and also to be, you know, innovative with our, our farming practice and our cheese practice. So more and more consumers are more concerned, growing concerned about animal welfare, um, the quality of food. So it just made like really, it made suitable sense to work with these farmers to create um, a, a milk supply that was certified. So this is actually verified by the Dairy Farmers of Ontario. The cows are pastured uh, with a minimal amount of grain. So is that the only one verified? Are there others that are verified? No, we're the first in Canada to be verified. So anybody uh, looking for this product in their stores, certainly give us a call. Okay, so give me the tour. What do you got here? So we have a mild cheddar. Uh, it tastes very fresh, very creamy. It is a higher fat product. Um, it also yields a high omega-6-3 ratio, which is a high in um, uh, great nutritious value. We have a mozzarella that's a full fat version, simply creamy, just really good. You can tell by the color of it that it's uh, got a nice yellow tone. So it's certainly rich in nutrients and flavor. And your other one? Our our medium cheddar is the mild that's been aged now past four months and it's uh, it's the newest one. We started making this cheese in June, um, a couple of months after the cows had gone to pasture, which is uh, it's just super exciting for our, our Temiskaming Valley for sustainability of farming in Northern Ontario, as well as our cheese company. Hi, Ontario Zagman. Oh, Jeff hi, Little. Jeff. Pleased to meet can you. I you a, can I do a picture of this? Wonderful product. Tastes great. Thank you. <laughs> what, uh, Thank what do you, you. notice about the difference in other cheese? What's the difference? Well, you can tell this cheese was produced uh, grass-fed edibles. Great, great taste. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, good Excellent. Appetite. Thank you so much, Minister. Well, wow, impromptu. That was nice. Yeah. Good timing. <laughs> so, yeah, say cheese. Say cheese. That's my line there. <laughs> uh, there, okay. there really is a difference because the cows are pastured, and we believe the farmers also, they're committed, and they also believe in traditional methods of farming, small scale farms, um, happy, healthy cows out to, out to pasture. The winter is a cut grass diet um, with a minimal amount of grains. Good. What are people saying here at the show? I know we're early, it's the first day. Any uh, interesting feedback? It's been fantastic. We're really, we're really happy. What are people saying? They think it's delicious. They love the display. 
um, you know, presenting the cheese on some wheat grass is quite, quite so innovative itself. It, it speaks for itself. And that's what we always say. If people just try the cheese, they'll be sold on it. Thank okay, you. more information. What's your contact? Pam Hamill at thornlowcheese.ca. Our website is thornlowcheese.ca. We're also on social media. Come and take a visit on Instagram. Uh, our Twitter account is at thornlow.